hot topic right now. I've actually gotten the question two times recently from a guy and a girl, and it's about the fact that women are getting educated. <laughs> Okay, so the question from the girl um, is, uh, she's, she's a PhD student at Oxford, um, and so she's asking from the standpoint of like, what do I do? I feel like I, I feel like being this educated is hurting me, and I don't wanna play like a dumb blonde to get a guy. <laughs> um, and so we'll answer that in part two, but in part one, um, the guy just said, hey, you know, women are more educated right now than, than men. Um, how is that gonna affect the future of marriages? And um, so the short answer is they're doomed. No. <laughs> Um, I actually think we have an amazing opportunity, one, to celebrate the fact that um, women have the opportunity to get educated. There's still countries in the world that don't believe women um, even should get educated. Um, so we can, in this Western world, rejoice over that. Um, however, um, you know, it is something that can change dynamics. So if we look, you know, at the model of the 1950s, you know, or whenever where women um, wanted to get married um, and needed to get married for that financial uh, provision and protection, now women don't need that as much. Um, but what I think is so cool about this is that it can actually change the dynamic to be one that's more authentic as people enter into marriage. You know, we all know that guys can manipulate love and say, I love you just to get something, you know, but I think also there can be false models of respect. And if men really have this need for respect, it can come in a way that's not um, authentic. I mean, scripture talks about how men can be led astray by flattery and, you know, words. Um, and so the analogy I kind of make is look at, look at your high school. Um, you know, there was always that like freshman girl cheerleader, <laughs> maybe I'm tapping into some wounds or something. like a freshman girl cheerleader and like the senior guy basketball player. Why was there, oftentimes, there's exceptions, but a lot of times it's like older dude and younger female. And I use the cheerleader basketball analogy because there was this, there was this admiration like, oh, this older guy is talking to me and he's the star basketball player. And he loved that she adored him like that and cheered him on. Now, these are two individual human beings that 20, 30 years down the road, they're not in that environment where she is put in this position where, oh, he's so great. And she's gonna have to deal with who he is. Does she really admire him? Does she really wanna cheer him on? Does she really think that he's so great? Or as we would have said in high school, all that in a bag of chips. He's so fine. <laughs> Do you remember that? Anyways, um, so that's where I think this is like an awesome time to be more authentic and actually find a woman who is educated, who's smart, who can partner with you, and actually wants to be with you for you, not because you're old money bags. Um, but I think for a lot of men that that's actually gonna cause some insecurity because a lot of times they do find their worth and their identity in their job and what they do. And we also live in a time where a lot of men are getting laid off. So what does that look like? What does that look like for women? And that's what I'm gonna answer in part dos. <laughs> See you in the Spanish class, guys. On the next Ask Joy, Joy reveals that the highlight of her glory days was blimpies. I think we had six periods. And I oftentimes skipped six period. Look at me, the rebel. We had off-campus lunch once we became juniors. Did you guys have that? Were you allowed to go off campus? I went to blimpies every day. I got hot pastrami on white with provolone cheese. Or Jersey Giant, there was also Jersey Giant. They were literally 13 inches long, and we would have friends that worked there that would just pile on the hand. I mean, they were huge, and I could eat an entire one in one sitting, and some of the football players couldn't even do that. Something to be proud of, right? <laughs>